Yeah, so welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free GCSE and A level maths videos. This one's a GCSE video for box plots. Incredibly easy. This is a box plot, okay? This is a minimum value in a group of data. That's the maximum value of the data. So basically, this is saying the maximum value of the data here is 75, the minimum is 10, the median data is what 45 there's something called a lower quarter we're cutting the data into f uh, four groups or quarters and uh, so if there's a hundred different numbers 25 of the numbers would be in this group here the other 25 then the next 25 and then the next 25 would be here so the lower quarter separates the bottom quarters and the upper quarter separates the top two quarters and the median is right in the middle and uh, interquartile range means the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. So upper quartile, take away lower quartile. A range means maximum, take away minimum. So that's the basic stuff about box plots. They look like that. Yeah, you have to make a box in the middle. And sometimes these are called the whiskers coming out on the side. Um, and what you often have to do is compare two box plots. So when you're comparing two box plots, there are a few things you should bear in mind. Uh, first of all, the interquartile range is a better way to compare two box plots, i.e. this bit here is a better way to compare two box plots than the normal range, which is the difference between minimum and maximum. Okay, and the reason is that interquartile range ignores extremes within the data so this could be about people's heights and so this bit would represent the tallest people and the shortest people and there are very few of those uh, short people and tall people so why use those people to represent the group when really the normal people should represent the group that's the argument so uh, it's better to use interquartile range to compare two box plots if you're going to compare them by those by the range or the spread of the data yeah um, the other thing you should bear in mind which is a really common thing is um, if you're comparing two different products and their reliability and this is a common thing to do is uh, battery life the, so comparing two different brands of battery and obviously you, you probably want to compare them by their battery life uh, you probably basically what you want to say is that something with a bigger range in this case you probably do want to use the uh, actual range because you want to see how long the maximum and minimum is uh, of a battery life because imagine the battery life for something the minimum is really low that is really worrying imagine you're going on a camping trip and it only lasts one hour or something that's no good to you so if you're going to compare two products the product with the bigger range is less reliable and then you can if you besides those two things generally just compare the things to do t the two box plots by the, the their maximums or their medians or whatever you want just use your common sense really after that those are the two clever bits though now if you have another kind of question which doesn't come up much but you really should understand this if you have a box plot which has um, st which represents 300 people then looking at this one the 10 to 25 kilogram range represents 25% of the people, because this is in quarters, quartiles. Okay, so that means 75 people are represented here, because that's a quarter of 300. And blah blah blah, you can check out the rest yourself. You know, 20 to 55, which is the interquartile range, represents 50% of people, because that's two quarters there, which is 150 people.